We're pretty lucky here at GMBN. All of us as riders get to ride quite a lot of pretty fancy pants bikes. But that's not to say that everyone is as fortunate as that. A lot of us will start off on much more budget bikes. Very similar to this one here, my new hardtail, my Stoic 2, and she is an absolute gem. But just how hard can you thrash one of these things? Well, fear not, because today I am going to hammer the heck out of this thing to see just how much abuse it can take before either I or this gives up the ghost. I said this is the stoic 2 this is the most budget in the stoic range that canyon do and it's 850 pounds retail price wheels check seat and seat post check brakes check drivetrain check cranks check handlebar and stem check it is completely stock now normally when you see our bikes we put all our sponsor products on it here there and everywhere the only thing i've changed on this bike is the tires but I've changed them for something that is very similar to what was on there before. It doesn't come with pedals, so I've stuck my own pedals on. Otherwise, what you see is exactly what you get. Let's kick things off with climbing them because you've got to get to the top of the trails first before you can shred the old things back down. And how does a budget bike climb? I hear you screaming from the hilltops. Well, absolutely fine. The same frame is used on this, the budget Big two as it is on the top of the range version. The difference is on the parts. Now this has got a one by 10 group set. So no 11 speed or 12 speed super wide range cassettes. You're not gonna have that 50, 51 at the back, much tighter, much smaller. So when the going gets steep, it is a bit trickier. Handling around the turns on that nice techie switchbacks, on the single track, even blitzing up the fire rodeo, this thing still absolutely rips. Winner. Lastly, a thing to notice when you are climbing on this, it is obviously a little bit heavier. It's an aluminium frame, but with these slightly more budget parts on it, there is that weight penalty. So you do notice it when you're just chugging away up them fire roads like that, dragging that extra weight up, it is a little bit non more noticeable. There's no fancy carbon parts or carbon frame here, but hey, that doesn't really matter because I'm gonna be at the top soon and I'm gonna thrash this thing back down. And that is, I'm really looking forward to that. I've got to the top and let's face it, everyone wants to see just how hard you can shred this budget bike down a hill. That's what we wanna see. We wanna see this thing push to its limit. So I've come here to Bike Park Wales. I'm gonna hit one of the hardest trails up here, 50 Shades of Black. She's fresh out the box. Let's drop in, cue the music, let's go. going into it I thought we just huck and hope hey I tell you what if you want to test a budget bike on a hefty landing everything's still straight and square third time's a charm oh my lord Woo! 
a budget bike then, a humble beginning for most of us and where we'll all begin. What did I think of it? Well, I was flipping impressed, I can tell you that. All right, it's not going to add the braking power, maybe the confidence-inspiring corner railing abilities that some of the more expensive bikes out there are going to have, but that's not the point of it. It's a stepping stone. It's where you begin. Riding over really rough ground, big compressions, jumps, going hard into corners, well, it didn't quite offer the same stability as a more expensive bike might with maybe stiffer wheels, better brakes and better suspension. However, I still got round them, so is that the budget bike or rider ability you choose? Regardless of speed, if that's not your thing, and smiles are what make it count, well then, the budget bike does the same as the more expensive ones. Do you know what? It's an amazing place to start. We've all got to start with a budget, and this thing really gives you bang for your buck. have it i'm goosed i'm cooked i'm done for the day and do you know what old faithful it is blooming gone for it all and i have hammered the heck out of this thing so much so nearly tore myself a new one look got a bit wild now and again and it took it all in its stride so it just goes to show you don't need to feel the pressure of having a real fancy bike these things are capable as heck and well within limits but that's it for me i'm pooped we put the mileage in Hope you've enjoyed this video. Let me know what you thought and what you're riding down in the comments. I'll catch you next time. Happy riding. I'm out of here. Toodles. Bo.